Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. The date, I believe, is the 24th of February. I had to check that one because I'm not recording this live. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you all had fun with your PE yesterday. I am currently recording this on a lovely sunny day. The rain stopped for a bit, which is quite nice, isn't it? So I hope you're all doing really, really well. Now, we started our new topic on Monday. Who can remember what we did on Monday in topic? Can you remember what story I showed you? Something about a character named George? George and the Sunflower? Joshua and the tree? That's not right. Jack and the Beanstalk. That's right. We listened to Jack and the Beanstalk. And I said we were going to learn a little bit about growing and how things grow and change. Now, some of you might have done some planting or activities over half term. And if you did, hopefully we'll be seeing pictures of those on, on tapestry. And we'll really look forward to seeing those. And it might have given you an idea of some of this. Now, what I'm going to share with you in a minute, as long as I can get the technology to work, is a bit of information about how a bean grows. Now, there's some technical language in here and it gets a little bit grown up. OK, don't worry too much about that. If we look at the pictures and if we see that we can describe what we can see and think about how it changes, then that's what we're really looking for now. If you pick up some of the language too, then that's brilliant. But don't worry too much about some of the longer words. OK, so I'm going to hopefully share this PowerPoint with you now. So if I can bring this up, hopefully you can all see that. It should say bean plant life cycle. Now, this is a bean like a mungo bean or a kidney bean. They are really good ones to plant. If you haven't already done so and you want to do it at home, they're really simple. You just need a jam jar or a plastic container, a bit of soil that you can get from a garden or from a park somewhere. You put the bean in it or even a bit of kitchen roll, to be honest, put the bean in and a little bit of water and you can actually watch it happen over some time. So if we show you this, let me get my next page to work. So this is my little bean. Can you see what's happened to it? Can you describe what's happened? It's got a green thing coming out of it, hasn't it? Now this green thing is a shoot. So it's got a shoot coming out of it. It's a bit funny, isn't it? We call it the shoot and it comes out of the bean, okay? And it's this fancy word germinates. So as I said, don't worry too much about the fancy words, but it's very grown up if you can use them. So this little bean plant germinates and this little green shoot comes out. And that usually takes about two to three days to happen. And then it does a very funny thing. You might think that the bean itself grows and it, the bean stays at the bottom and the, and the shoot grows up. That's not what happens. The bean actually sort of grows into the ground. So you can see here that the bean is growing its roots into the soil. And you can see, okay? And it's using that food in the soil to make it grow tall. And it's getting, you can see in these pictures, it's growing up and up and up. And it's coming into a bean, a bit like the beanstalk in Jack and the Beanstalk. It's not going to get that big, I don't think, not unless it's a magic bean. So these bits of the, of the shoot go into the root and the ground. And then we also get this bit that comes up and we form a stem. Okay, then you might have seen some of these growing. If any of you have got allotments or gardens or grandparents that grow, you can see you've got this plant. And then it starts to get these flowers on it. And these flowers are waiting to be pollinated. Okay, that's a bit more complicated, so don't worry too much. And then after they've got the pollination, you get these little beans which grow onto them. And then if you have one of those beans and you plant it back in the soil, you'll be back at the very beginning. So the beans grow on here and they go back in the very beginning. So there is a video here, if I can get it to work. It's got some very dramatic music on it, but it shows you what happens to that bean. It's a time-lapse video. I don't think it's going to work, is it? Okay. So you, if you just bear with me a second and I will find the video. Here it is. And then we'll get it to come up again. Hopefully you can all see that now. Let me just start again from the beginning. Here we go. So it says this has taken over 18 days. So it's quite a long period. 
and lots of little pictures put together so that you can see this growing. I'll try and put a link to this so you can watch this by yourself if you want to. So there's your little bean right down here, look. You can see, look out for that little sprout, the little shoot, sorry. There's the little shoot, can you see? Okay, and then the roots are coming here, look. There are all the roots. And then look, the bean gets lifted into the air by that shoot. So the bean goes up, the roots go down. This bean comes up and it starts getting these leaves. There we go, can you see? And that looks a bit more like a plant we might know, doesn't it? It's growing and look at how wide these roots have gone. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's going up. You can still see where the bean was just here. And then the bean stalks growing up and up and up with those beautiful big leaves. And it's going off, up, up, off camera now. Going really high and the wider the roots are, the larger the area, the stronger the bean will be. Hence where they've broken out into these tiny little bits all under the ground. And it's shot up high, hasn't it? It's very interesting, isn't it? Okay. Now let's see if I can get back to that PowerPoint. You probably see my face now. And then good test on my technology skills, this. Okay, I'm gonna share that PowerPoint again. Here we are. So this is what the life cycle is like. So we talk about a life cycle, the circle of life, if you've watched The Lion King, it goes around in a circle, so it can happen over and over again. So we start off with our bean, then our bean gets our shoot, and that shoot goes down to the ground to make those roots that we talked about, and the stem that comes up. It grows up into our tall bean plant, and it starts to flower. And then those flowers grow these beans themselves. They're the fruit of the the plant, the beans, which you can use to plant and start all over again. So there are some interesting facts for you. The lar world's largest bean pods can grow up to five feet long. That's about as tall as some of your parents, so probably slightly shorter. It's very tall. There we go, there's a lovely little chick at the end there as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed looking at that. Now, what I've got for you is there is a little um, sequencing activity. So there's four pictures, and I would like to know if you could try and put them in the right order. So see if you can put them. Now, it is a cycle, so you could put them going around the circle, or you could put them in a line if you're not sure. And if you could try to explain what's happening by what you can see, don't worry about the technical words, but if you can describe what you think is happening, that would be amazing. Okay, and any problems or questions, please do get in touch, and we look forward to seeing you work.